Hi everybody, it's Peter Zellum's Greeny Flicks Adventure 8 and welcome to another video. Today's video is about the Leica Q2 Monochrome and I've had this for probably a few weeks now and I thought I'd just give you a quick update and uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, the story behind this particular Q2 starts with my original Q2, which is a conventional colour Q2, which I probably got about uh, two months ago or so. And then when I did the firmware update, something went wrong, so I had to send it back to Leica, and they've had it for a while. I will have to get an update on that one. But in the meantime, I did borrow the Q2 monochrome from Leica, so it was very nice of them to lend it to me. And so I'll continue to do reviews on this uh, while I wait for my other Q2 to be returned. And then I'll be able to give you an update exactly what went wrong and, and why. Now in the meantime, what I've done with this Q2 is I have got this mount. Why I got this handle was because the, the M11. The M11 you can get an optional handle and it's got a tripod mount, an arc swiss I think they call it, tripod mount. So I thought, well that's a brilliant idea, is to have a simple handle that you can attach to the Leica M11. And I noticed that, um, yes, you can get handles also for the Q2, but it doesn't have a tripod mount, you have to screw it in. But I did go on, on eBay and, um, and found this little one here. So you can still access the battery as well as the memory card, much the same as the handle for the M11 with the Arc Swiss mount and the handle. And it works, it looks really good. It is a non Leica product, a Chinese company, no doubt, as most things are manufactured <laughs> around the world these days. And it's a camera handle grip by JJC. I'll provide a link in the video, so if that is of interest to you. Here we are, the Q2. Now, I do have the M10 monochrome, as you've seen from previous videos. And I have a, a bunch of other Leica rangefinder cameras. Where the Q2 differs is the automatic functions, particularly the autofocus. The rangefinder cameras have manual aperture. So they are the two big differences, the auto aperture and the auto focus. The other big thing is macro. Macro is really great for close-up focus. You can also digitally zoom in as well, but I don't tend to do that. I tend to use the 28mm wide-angle lens, I guess wider than average lens, and then do all my zooming and cropping later in post-processing. I think the post-processing is just as important as actually taking the photograph. So, has this made me a lazy photographer, I guess is the question. And that's possibly one reason why I went back to manual focus, manual aperture, and just using a couple of automatic functions, the auto expo, the shutter speed auto, and ISO, ISO auto, were probably the two auto functions I use on the M series. Yes, so the Q2 has that fixed lens, 28 millimeter, which lends itself so well to event photography where you're close up to the action and uh, capturing the moment in black and white. What I've also noticed in, in shooting black and white, which is different to shooting in color and then changing to black and white, as soon as you shoot in black and white, you, color doesn't become, isn't part of the equation anymore and you put more emphasis on your framing, on textures, on tones, on composition, um, and also it's sort of also looking at uh, how movement may come into the picture as well. And that's what I found in a recent shoot that I took, went out in Newtown, and I thought, oh yeah, just take some shots um, and see what that thinking does to actually changing the type of shot and the composition that I chose. So I'll be able to share some of this with you and be interesting to get your thoughts and comments.
Well, I hope you like the slides, uh, like the photos, uh, welcome your comments. Um, do you have a Q2 monochrome yourself? How are you using it? Are you using it for street? Are you taking it in the evenings? Are you using it for travel? Out during the day? Landscape? Welcome your thoughts. If it's the first time to my channel, you haven't subscribed already, then please do subscribe. Press notifications, you'll be notified when the next video is out. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. That's how you support the channel. And if you're really keen, then I really enjoy a super thanks. Uh, you can always press that and donate a few funds to the channel. It helps it to provide content for you guys. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks, cheers, bye.